the kayaks here, you've got your scupper holes. And that's to drain water while you're going down the lake or the river or whatever. Uh, but if you're on the lake and it's steady, you're going to have water coming up through these holes and getting you wet and stuff like that. I mean, it's good to let water out if you're in calm water and you, you just want to drain through the holes or whatever, that's fine. Uh, so you can buy the scupper plugs at Walmart and they're about, they're about six or seven dollars for a four pack and they'll just plug right in those holes. Well, the bad thing about it is, is these particular kayaks, clean up some of that stuff anyway, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six scupper holes here. So, I just, uh, and like I said, they're five or six dollars for a four pack. So, you know, I've got two kayaks, that's uh, 12. I'm gonna have to spend, uh, you know, probably uh, 22 or 23 dollars. So, I just went and I picked up a pack of the golf balls. These are practice, foam practice golf balls. And as you can see on this kayak, I've done shove two down in here and they're down here where the seat is and, and, and I'm going to leave those in there. I'm, I'm going to silicone them with some E6000 silicone. Uh, they're going to stay in there. But for these up here, I want to be able to remove them in case I do get water in the back compartment or in the front compartment. But on this video, we're going to show you how to make it. It's a homemade scuffer plug. It's pretty simple and pretty cheap. Uh, I've got a, I've got like seven bucks in the golf balls. I already had a roll of paracord here from some previous stuff I was doing, and then I've got uh, oh, and I did pick up. Uh, I think uh picked up 12 I picked up 12 of the little stainless steel washers here from my local Ace. It was like a buck or something. So, you know, so for like 7 bucks, I've got enough to do both my boats or both my kayaks. So, I'll get you set up over here and we'll show you how we make the scupper plug. All right, guys, uh, here's the material we're going to use. It's pretty simple. I've got me a coat hanger with the, uh, I bent the end, that way I don't poke myself in the hand, but I'll use this end to shove it up through um, the hole that we're going to drill in the practice golf ball. So I'm using an 1164 bit with my power drill. Then I've got me a length of paracord. And trial and error, I found, uh, I've got this measured out for you. I've got a 14 inch piece of paracord here. And when we start it, we're gonna double it over and I'll show you that. Uh, and then I've got a stainless steel washer. And we'll show you how that goes on. Then I've got a lighter and that's just to burn the ends of my paracord after I cut them. And I've already burnt these, so we won't need this lighter right now. But uh, I've been down here. I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. It's about 90 degrees. But so what we're going to start with is we're just going to drill a hole through the center of our golf ball. So we'll have that little hole drilled through the center of the golf ball. And now we're done with the drill, so we'll move it down here out of the way. So what I'm going to do now keep my golf ball from rolling off there, is I'm going to take my paracord. Like I said, I cut it at 14 inches, and we're just going to fold it in half. And down here at this end, we're going to get it as close to the ends, the, the burnt ends of the paracord as we can. And we're going to tie us a knot in there. 
And like I said, you want to pull this knot as close to the ends as you can. Just sit her down. And so now we're tight there. So we got our knot in there. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to slip our washer over the loop then and pull it down toward the knot. And here's where the coat hanger comes in handy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pointed end of the coat hanger and I'll get a little closer so you can see. I'll take my I'll take my pointed end of the coat hanger and I'll put my paracord, I'll put it right in the center of the paracord. And then all I'm going to do is it, it'll go in, but you're going to have to work it just a little bit. And I'd keep my hands back in case something slipped out. And that way you don't have a coat hanger impaled through your hand and, you know, trip to the emergency room. We don't want to talk about it. All right, but you see that? Into that paracord popped out. So now we can just pull our coat hanger out. And there we go. Simple as that. That's your homemade scuffer plug. So there we have it. We got our scuffer plugs installed. Like I said, I'm going to probably permanently mount those two. I don't need to really have the pull handles. But I like to have the pull handles at least back here in the back. And in the well of the boat here. That way, if I do get water in it, or the wife gets water in it, you just reach down here, pull them out, drain your water out, and you can just shove them back in. Simple as that. So as you just seen in that clip, we've got all of our scupper plugs made for that particular kayak. I'm going to finish up with this other kayak. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, we're always saying that. You know, if you've got comments or questions, just feel free to ask. We're here to answer them. Um, and once again, you know, we hope to have these things out on the water here pretty soon. Maybe get you a few videos of us kayak fishing. And, uh, well, like we're always saying, we'll see you camping. Mm -hmm.